Hey everybody, Doug here from Newswire. I want to take just a few minutes and talk about pictures in your news releases today. So uh, let's uh, let's just go to Google for just a second here, and uh, let's let's search for uh, just a real common term. If we look for healthcare in Google, uh, we're going to see that the that the category is dominated by big players, but on the first page we do have a news category for healthcare. So let's uh, click on that and see where we go. All right, one of the things we notice about uh, press releases in general and news items specifically is that uh, sometimes Google will take a picture and make it part of the uh, part of the description here. Now we know from research that uh, something with a picture is about three times as likely to get clicked on as something without a picture. So the question becomes, how do we get ourselves to have a picture with our news release? Well, there's a couple of tricks that I want to teach you right now that uh, should make it more likely that your pictures will get picked up in news releases. The first thing that you'll notice about uh, the pictures that you're seeing with these news releases is that uh, they're pretty much original pictures. Uh, Google isn't very likely to ever show a picture that is elsewhere uh, displayed on the web with your news release. So if it's an old picture, if it's a stock photo, if it's something that you've used before or something that you pulled off the internet, first of all, it's not very likely to, to get play. So the first thing that you need to remember is you have to have an original picture. So short of taking pictures with your camera, which is a good way to go, uh, is there a way that you can make a picture from the web and I want to show you a way to do that and then we'll show you a way to optimize those pictures. So let's go uh, to YouTube and we're going to search, uh, which I already have done here, uh, for uh, Kevin Buckman who's the subject of uh, a news release that we're going to work on here. So the first thing we're going to do here is just find a little news uh, a little, uh, video about Buckman. So let's play that. moment most memorable moment uh, over there. all right I like that one right there so uh, I could probably do better but for the for the purpose of this uh, we've got Dr. Buckman it's going to be a completely unique picture because uh, we just took a frame out of the video that's been gone on, ongoing it even already has its name in it which is kind of nice I don't have to uh, go back and edit that so I'm going to freeze my little YouTube video right there I'm going to go over and find uh, you can do a screenshot I like to use uh, just my little snipping tool here and I'll just uh, snip out a piece of uh, Kevin Buckman and get that um, more or less the way I want it I'll go back and uh, I'll save it I'll just give it any sort of name here that I want. It doesn't really matter what the name is. All right, so once I have uh, Dr. Buckman's picture, I've taken that off of a, of a YouTube video. I've saved it. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go browse for that picture on my computer. So give me just a second to find it here. It's going to be in my pictures file. And I think I put it right here. And uh, here we are. So we've got a picture of Dr. Buckman, and uh, that's uh, that's really all we have right now. You notice I saved it as a JPEG, which is real important. We're going to talk about why right now. So let's uh, go ahead and open that picture up by right-clicking it. Right-click that picture, and I'm going to go to the properties of the picture. So uh, there's a couple things I want to do here. First, the first thing I want to do is name it appropriately. So I want uh, Dr. Buckman to be found for this uh, news release that I'm doing, so I'm going to name it with his name. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that, uh, that the uh, attributes are, are open. Uh, first thing I'm going to do there. The next thing I'm going to do is going to go to the Details button. Now you notice in Details that there are some things that I can put in here. The first thing I'm going to do is title it, and I'm going to title it again uh, with uh, one of my keywords this time. So uh, this is about uh, cancer books, so I'm going to say Dr. You 
and shove something in every one of these things. So, uh, and of course, I like my own picture, so I'm going to rate it. And in my tags here, this is where it kind of gets uh, a little bit tricky and something we need to really kind of pay attention to. With my tags, I'm going to go over here and find the keywords that I would have put in my article anyway. So, uh, and then the thing that I want you to really take note of is that as opposed to separating our keywords by commas like we do for meta news keywords, we have to separate these by semicolons. And a semicolon is, uh, let me see here, a semicolon is uh, the one with a dot uh, over the top of a comma. So semicolon, we're going to separate by semicolon. We're just going to copy those. And we'll go ahead and paste them here in our tags. Uh, as far as the next thing, comments, uh, I'm going to take the entire meta description. And I, I'll get three uses out of that meta description. I'm going to use it as a meta description uh, in my SEO tab. I'm going to make it the abstract of the article. And I'm going to use it again because it's, got, it's rich with my keywords. It's got everything that I want to tell somebody about this article. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put that uh, under under comments. Now we played around with putting the entire press release in there as a comment, and uh, it's not a bad idea. It, it will work. Uh, it seems to be a little bit overkill, and I prefer just going with that uh, abstract. Uh, if you're writing good abstracts, it has all your keywords in it, it has a good description. All right. So from there, I'm just going to say okay. And that's about as simple as it is. I now have a Dr. Kevin Buckland picture that is just loaded with all the things that it needs to be loaded with in order to get it ranked. Let's talk about real quickly um, how to put that on the page. So we're going to go to Newswire. And we're going to go into our article management tab. We're going to add a new article. And uh, we're just going to pretend that we have an article written here. And that we've got an abstract. Actually, we've got a good abstract here, don't we? We'll just paste that in here. Now the next thing we're going to do is going to go. We're going to go browse our computer for the abstract image, and that's the image we just created. Again, it's a unique image because we scraped it from a, a YouTube video, uh, so it's uh, it's unlikely that the image will be shown anywhere else on the on the web. So uh, let me do that a little slower here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, abstract image. We're going to uh, click on this little, uh, little magnifying glass browse files. So we'll look for a, an image. Now again, these files are files that have been previously uploaded to Newswire. We don't want to use those. Uh, they're free to be used once they're uploaded. They're public domain. Remember that about your pictures. But once they're up there, uh, Google's already indexed them, so we don't want to do that again. We upload files from our computer. That's where we go. When we hit Upload File again, here's where we put our little picture. If we open that picture. Uh, we'll add a, a caption here, and again, there's not a whole lot of SEO value to those uh, captions, so we'll just keep it short. We'll go, Dr. Kevin Buckman, and then we'll just go save it. And uh, it looks like it's been successfully saved. We'll go back to our article management tab. We will click on the little preview button right here. And we'll make sure that it's OK. Now, one of the things that you want to look out for is make sure your, your caption is not longer than your picture. If it is, it will bust this box out and it won't look very good. So that's about as simple as it is to put a good, uh, unique photo into your, uh, into your news release. If you do that, if you load those pictures up with, uh, with uh, meta tag information, uh, Google will start indexing a little better. If they're unique, you have a shot at getting them shown on your page uh, or on, on Google, that is, next to the page that contains your article. 
again, this is what we're looking for is trying to get our pictures indexed next to our entry into Google News. All right, if you have any other questions, look at our uh, video channel. We've got lots of great stuff there, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.